I would say that when I saw it, it was a little surprising, but at the same time a little expected, just because everything that was going on got a little aggressive, I would say, especially like verbally. And I think that he did everything that he knew how to do to handle it. And I think that the school was just going in a direction that he wasn't able to professionally go in. And I think that that's a mature decision to make, to realize that you can't necessarily go in the direction that the school is going. So I think it's a smart decision. I think it's a good step for the community just because like change needs to happen. And <laughs> I don't think he was taking like the right steps to make the changes, and but he had like a good heart and a good intention, but he wasn't quite ready, and we just need like a new fresh face as a as a president. I wasn't surprised when it happened. I was a little surprised that he decided to retire the semester after what is it? Uh, the end of the next year, um, only because of all the controversy that was happening. Um, I think that it's good that he retired because he wasn't really, I personally felt that he wasn't really doing his job very well, uh, but I don't know if it necessarily was directly, that he should have retired directly because of all the, race, the racism arguments. I think there was a lot of other things that he was doing that wasn't uh, proper or, um, or very effective. Um, so in the end, I think I'm glad that he's gone and I'm hopeful that there is a uh, someone else to take his spot. But I don't know if the reason he left is the right reason. I was actually surprised that he announced that his, um, he's retiring. Um, I think it's definitely a, like a political move to retire instead of being forced to resign. Um, I'm very interested though to see what he does in his final year here at IC. If he's going to strive to leave a more positive um, kind of closing end to his career or if things are going to still remain stagnant like they have been.